Wasn't that a lovely song? Thank you, Woozy. And tomorrow we're going to have a lot of fun too. You call that going peacefully in your sleep? Did you see that, Mr. T? They killed him. It's all right, Mickey. But I don't understand. Why try to hush it up? Publicity. Bad press. Like if Ronald McDonald went ape shit with an axe in a kiddies hospital. Networks are just trying to cover their asses. So what do we do? This Simon Myers guy, wouldn't they have taken him to the morgue? Well, I can ring Axel. He can check the records. No. Forget it. We don't know who or what we're fighting here. We'll just keep it between the three of us. Don't you worry, mate. We'll nail whoever topped the bear. But we'll do it my way. I don't like this, Dirk. Sounds like trouble. So? I can let you in. Listen, this has to look like a break, man. If the shit hits the fan, I think it's an inside job. I don't want you involved. But, but, oh, shut up. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Anyone seen my bag at all? Now, listen. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, I'll give you the signal. What signal? Two short shrieks followed by loud, uncontrollable blubbering. I'm not back in half an hour. Do something. Just be careful. Yeah. I didn't have the heart to tell Sandra. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, that I was winging it. But then there's some stuff a girl doesn't need to know. Stuff like how you get a bone and just thinking about a sister. full of stiffs. The temperature for a start. It was cold. Bloody cold. Colder than an Eskimo's bum at a fart lighting festival. I love it when I talk like that. What? My mind was starting to play tricks on me. I had to find that bear's body and I had to find it fast. There was something about Axel. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. You sure you can 
take this? Yeah. Right. Scalpel. I should have let Sandra do this, but now it was getting personal. I didn't want to tell her I had this thing about dissections ever since I cut up my first rat at school. Oh, well. At least the bear wasn't squeaking. Now, we have to do this scientifically. Okay. Bears gone bye byes. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mrs. Trent. What are you doing here? And you must be Dirk's new little friend. He's told me so much about you. I'm Sandra. Sandra? No, that wasn't the name. Who was it you were telling me about, Dirk? Listen, Laurel, I've got important clients. So I won't hold you up. I'll see you on Monday. Monday? You can all spend the weekend together. Bye, Dirk. Bye, Mickey. Bye... Sandra. Of course. Through here, children. So, what are we going to do today? Dirk. Look. Just trust me on this. Now, the tickets are good for the whole day. As long as you like, big fella. I just drive it. All right, on you get, kids. Okay. Now, here's your ticket. Thanks, now, remember, Thanks, this is educational, so pay attention and no mucking up. Yeah. We'll see you later on. So call me a bastard. But this wasn't a case for kids. It wasn't a case for anyone. No one with half a brain would take it on. That was my kind of case. I had questions, but I needed answers. Who was behind this? Why all the bodies? Where does the slug fit in? How does a carburetor work? I decided to call in the experts. Who did you say you got it? I didn't. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be telling you what I'm about to say. I can only assume you've had some experiences with that little friend. Otherwise, you, uh, you wouldn't be here. Am I correct? Close enough. 